Okay, she's back up and running. Um, yeah, I was able to do some cable management in there. I don't know if you can see okay that gob that was in there. I don't know. It, it straightened out somewhat. I mean, I'm not an expert on cable management at this point. But and that wire there just goes to the fan on the side panel. Yeah, I, I just basically tried to clean things up and it's nice not to have to wrestle with that you know side panel on the far side anymore the reason I took out six gigs is today I plan on doing 3d mark vantage runs with the physics card in and then I'm gonna do driver sweeper and uninstall 3d mark vantage take the card out and reinstall 3D Mark Vantage as if it was never in there, the physics card. And we'll see what the score discrepancies are, if any. Um, I've got the processor clocked at 4.4 right now using the EVGA Elite. Oh, one thing about this tuning utility, if you don't need it for benchmarking, just uninstall it. It slows up your desk time loading so horribly. I mean, it, it's an albatross, really, if you don't need it. Here's the precision utility. I'm going to upclock the. What the hell? There we go. To those settings. Again, there are probably better settings out there that'll give me more points, but those are the ones I'm using. My high in this test is around 28 700 something. I can't quite remember the exact score. Another thing I did with the case is I took that remote that's on the Zalman. It was just laying here before and I just I plugged it in right there. So, oh, another thing, if you're running a benchmark like this and you have something like Spy Sweeper or, or whatever, shut it down, okay? It's just a hog on resources. There we go. So, all right, I'll just start the benchmark here. Some people have asked what these tracers actually look like. I mean, that's all there is to it. You know, it's, it's not a mod I did or anything like that. It's good RAM, though. I mean, for this benchmark, I loosened the timings to 8.8.8.24. And, you know, yeah, we'll see where it goes. So, oh, another thing about this XFX fan. I don't know how many of you remember around the time the 8800s and the 8600s came out. That fan and that sucker. I've got all of these case fans on high, including the Zalman, including that big one on the top. And I can distinctly hear that. Man, it shuts up after a little while, but... Yeah, I had to look under there to make sure there wasn't a cable sawn through there. It just, it was a painful reminder of the way things used to be. It's, it's all right. All right, I thought I'd come back and show everybody how the processor is doing. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about this Zalman, what, how well it does and, and everything. Honestly, I've been looking at the temps and it hasn't gotten above 70 degrees. I mean, I, you know, I've got it on full board and it's certainly not as good as, you know, a water block, but yeah, it's doing, it's doing a good job. You can see the processor is darn near 100% and I don't know if we can get in there yeah you see 
71, 70, 72. And that's it's not terrible. As I was considering, you know, the the true and the mega hollums I heard are very good as well. Yeah, those are good scores. So Alright, well I just thought I'd give kind of a a quick little shout out to the Zalman. It's doing a great job. Really happy with it. Alright, I'll be back at the end of the test. Okay, the Liberace and the Matrix tests are over. So, let's see what the score ended up being. 28-146. Okay, so that's the baseline for having a physics card in. It's not a bad score. It's only about, uh, I think it's about 600 points less than my high. Um, again, these were the settings I'm using. So, all right, what I'll do is I'll uninstall all drivers, run the driver sweeper, and then I'll uninstall 3D Mark Vantage, come back, and we'll see how it runs without the physics card. So, 28-146. Not bad. Sam, fairly impressed.